All right, there may come a time when you need to do a multi-dimensional array. And so what I'm going to do is just modify the code for this ice cream application I created in the parallel array video that I created. So um, how this one works, if you haven't watched that video, basically there's two arrays that are running uh, parallel to each other. And uh, spot one here, or spot zero, um, with the one value, is going to line up with the 99 cents value. And so then all we did was basically take the text from, from the... Uh, or the input from the user in the text box and then found that position in the array and then what we did after that was we just displayed our price and so if I ran the application you'll see that I've got if I put in four scoops 249 if I put in three scoops $1.99 if I put in five scoops it's not valid so a little message box comes up it tells us pick a number between one and four so what I'll do now is I'm going to change up this application to actually incorporate a multi-dimensional array and to be more specific, it's only going to have two dimensions. So it is a two-dimensional array. So I'll go ahead and create a new double. And we'll replace those uh, two arrays that I have up there. But what I'll need to do is put a space, comma, space. And it's going to tell it it's a two-dimensional array. And I need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it ice cream data. And it's going to go ahead and equal a new double. And I'm going to need to set in now the rows and columns. And so that's how it goes, rows and columns. How many rows, how many columns. Now it's going to look like a table. So what I'll need to do is this is what my data is going to look like when it's entered in there. I've got four rows, and I've got, or I'm sorry, two rows and four columns. And so what I'll need to do is tell it it's going to be two rows and it's going to be four columns. So we'll go ahead and type that in here. Two rows four columns. I'll go ahead and end this and now let's go ahead and give it give ourselves the values for this array. And how this is going to work it starts off with a curly brace like we did before but we do it a row at a time so I'm going to do it two curly braces here uh, and enter in the first row and then I'll do a comma and then set an, another set of curly braces with row two, uh, the second row. So I'll go ahead and type in one, two, three, and four and we'll do it again now for the point ninety nine the so one point four nine the 1.99 and the 2.49 and we'll go ahead and end the curly braces both sets and end it with a semicolon so there we go that replaces these two parallel arrays I'll go ahead and take those out and now I have one array that is a multi-dimensional array that holds uh, one set of values and then it holds another set of values in two different rows now how to call those elements that we've got in there. Um, basically we've got to look at it as a table and we've got spots and there's two dimensions in this particular one so here we go this is what I want to look at right here where I've got my variable ice cream data or my array ice cream data this is going to be in spot 0 comma 0 or saying row 0 column 0. This is going to be row 0 column 1, row 0 column 2, row 0 column 3 and then now I've got row 1 uh, column 0, 1, 2 and then 3. So this is how um, it's going to look for me to call or to basically use these elements and this is what it's going, the data that we entered in there for each one of those respectable elements. And so let's go ahead and come back here and now let's go ahead and modify our application a little bit more. So what happens was whenever they typed in a number in our text box we took that value and sorted it in X. What I want to do now is I actually want to subtract it by 1. And so if they enter in 4 scoops I want to say X is going to equal 3. And that's because we're going to use spot 3 to uh, give us our prices. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now why? I think I can get rid of it altogether. There's no binary search in this application now. And let's go ahead and look at our application see what else we can modify. So let's modify our if statement. We don't have y in there. We do have an x. So if x is going to be, we'll say, greater than or equal to 0, and we now need to make sure that x is going to be less than in this case it's going to be 4 so if they enter in 5 x will be 4 because it's going to be their number minus 1 so we need to make sure that x is also going to be less than 4 there we go so now if that condition is true let's go ahead and run this instead of prices we're going to use ice cream data and it's going to be in row 1 column X 
pull out our data for us. Alright, so let's go ahead and run our application. I'll go ahead and hit the debugging. And here's our application. If I enter in 1, I get 99 cents. 2, $1.49, 3, $1.99, 4, $2.49, 5. I get my message box. Pick a number between 1 and 4. So there we go. This is using a multi-dimensional array within C-Sharp.